Welcome to the day one recap of Robot in Three Days at Penn State. I'm Aaron. I'm Michael. And I'm Rio. Today we're going to be doing a final design recap and talk about what prototypes we decided worked but didn't make it to the final design, what didn't work and didn't make it, and what did make it in our final design. This is our first design that did work very well. It's our flywheel to shoot the algae up into the net. This has ended up being very reliable, but we decided not to go with it ultimately because we thought that there was other priorities other than shooting the algae. And also it took up a lot of space and it was not worth our time in the end. This is our second design that worked really well, but didn't make it. This is intended to pick up the coral from the ground and also the algae off of the reef. This is how it picks up the coral. And we found in our test that it was able to get it from flat horizontally on the ground like this, but also angled up over the bumper, which ended up working really well, even without anything underneath here. And then also from this angle, it could pick up the algae from the reef and place the coral onto the reef. However, we didn't go with this because we want to prioritize placing coral on L4 and with our elevator, this is not going to be able to reach it and wanted to have a more overall coral design that would be able to not rely too much on programming to place it in an accurate spot. And we also wanted to make sure that we had room for a different design for the climber that we ended up prioritizing. This was our first design for the climber for the shallow climb. And we liked it because it was very reliable. It was simple and it worked well by driving over slightly above the bottom of it, going down and moving back, and the robot's able to lift itself up. However, we didn't go with this because we wanted to give ourselves a more of a challenge with the deep climb. Now for the designs that uh, didn't make it and didn't really work, our first uh, design is the big ground intake. The idea was to feed coral from the bottom into this compartment. And we used wheels here to transport it to the side and pivot it so that we could use it for a handoff. Unfortunately, this idea didn't work as well as we wanted it to. And we decided to pivot to something else that also manipulated coral. The other design that we have was directed for deep cage. Um, and for this climb, which we used, which tried to use a wheel, we have the cage placed here with um, with a pin, with an axle here that would lock it into place, and we have a rubber wheel that would make the, the the robot climb up. Unfortunately, we also couldn't get this to work. We definitely encourage teams to try this because our math said that this really should work, and this could be a great idea for deep climb. All right, now I'm going to talk about what we did decide to move forward with. All right, so this is what we're going to spend all of tomorrow building. Um, it uses three simple mechanisms. First, we have a dual um, coral placement and algae intake to pull algae off the reef. So that is this mechanism. And you want to grab the coral one as well. So here's the algae one. It's very simple, just two wheels with a back plate that pull it in. We found we were able to hold the algae um, very near the back of the ball. So you don't even have to grab all the way in the center, you can grab back here and still hold it. Um, in addition to that, we have this coral placement mechanism. Um, this is something that we found worked really well. This picks up from the source and can place on the reef passively by spinning this wheel to pick it up. So coral comes in and then you move up to the reef and you slam into it and it, and it pops out automatically. Uh, as you can see in the video. And by combining these two mechanisms in the right orientation, we're able to place coral on the reef while we pull algae off the reef. The other mechanism that we're gonna move forward with is a cam to do the deep cage climb. So how this is gonna work is your robot is gonna drive into the deep cage until the deep cage comes right in the middle of your robot. And then this, on a driven by a highly gear reduced Neo, drives down and pushes against the bottom of the deep cage to lift your robot just two or three inches off the ground. And we think with our weight balanced well enough, we can get off the carpet. Um, so that's what we're going to be building tomorrow. And thanks for watching our day one recap.